All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over 13 untapped side hustles. And these are gonna be relatively easy and they're also gonna have a low barrier to entry, meaning you can get into these without much experience. So if you appreciate me doing this type of video, cheers the like button and let's jump into it right now. So the first one on the list is going to be selling no code products. So no code products are basically where you create software using a visual development interface. So you basically don't have to have any software development or software engineering knowledge. And this is especially good for creating what's known as minimum viable products. So if you have an idea for a piece of software that you think could help a company out there, you can create it for very cheap using no code development. Now, is this product going to be perfect? Of course not. Are you going to later on probably hire professional software developers to make it better? Yes, you are. But is this a great way to get a product out there just to see if people want to buy what you have to build before actually spending hundreds of thousands of dollars building it? Yes, this definitely is. And an example of a great no-code product would be Comet. So this was launched in 2016 by three roommates, and it's basically a freelancing marketplace that attributes its early success to no-code platforms. And this platform had immediate success and scaled to $800,000 per month very quickly. Then within three years, they secured 14 million in venture capital funding. And there's been many examples of companies that were started using no-code, and they typically use the platform Bubble to start the company. Now there's many ways you could make money doing this with the most obvious way becoming a freelancer. For instance, you could be a freelancer that specializes in helping people start CRMs or customer relationship management software using no code. And there's probably a million different examples out there the only thing that's gonna limit you is your creativity. So I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. I think it's awesome. And it's definitely something that you should look into. All right, quick pause guys. I can't believe I'm doing this, but for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I'm gonna be giving you an opportunity to get your dream remote job for 80% off, okay? Link down in the description below. It's only gonna be available for a few days. So check it out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. It's gonna be 80% off. Ridiculous. Next on the list is being a curated expert. And Curated is a company that wants to be the go-to place for all experts. And if you look on their website, you can be an expert in all kinds of random different niches. For instance, there's snowboarding with 612 experts, there's grills with 11 experts, and there's coffee and espresso with 58 experts. So you would basically just write about your expertise and all things related to it, and you would curate the best information and put it on the platform. And then people actually get to review you and rate you based off of what they think of your expertise. So this is another really cool way of learning about certain niche subjects very quickly and efficiently. I think you could honestly do the same exact thing on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, etc. But it's cool that Curated offers a platform that's dedicated to it. So I'll give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be Twitter ghostwriting and also just ghostwriting in general. So ghostwriting is basically where you would kind of absorb the philosophy of a person who's typically like a public figure, like an influencer, for instance, and then you would write about their philosophy on Twitter. Twitter. So let's say, for instance, that you are an author who's put out, you know, three or four books. You might hire a Twitter ghostwriter to go through your books, take out tiny little excerpts from the book, and put those on your Twitter. And of course, this can help grow your brand. It can get people to buy your book. And if you have maybe private coaching or some other type of service that you offer, people will likely be more interested in it. So Twitter ghostwriting, in my opinion, is a huge opportunity right now. I think Twitter is one of the most untapped markets, or I guess it's X now. No, not Twitter anymore, but you get my point. And I'll be honest with you, most of Twitter is kind of just an absolute cesspool, but there are certain pockets of Twitter that have some of the highest quality content on the internet. So for instance, there are people that give away entire courses on Twitter and they're usually in written format, but it's an entire course on a subject and they break it down really well. And all you have to do is just, you know, like their post and then, you know, comment on the post and like maybe message them or something. And I've gotten some courses on Twitter that were honestly higher quality than courses that I've paid thousands of dollars for. So Twitter can be a place that has extremely high quality content, but not everybody has time to constantly be tweeting. So they might hire someone to do it for them. So I really do like Twitter ghostwriting. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Very similar to Twitter ghostwriting. I'll also talk about Twitter affiliate marketing. And technically you could do affiliate marketing on just about any platform. But again, I do think Twitter is relatively untapped. And affiliate marketing is basically uh, where you partner you with someone who has a product. Yeah. And if you are able to get someone else to click on the link to that product, and then they end up buying it, you get a percentage of the profit. So for instance, let's just say there's a $100 product, someone clicks on it and you end up getting $50 when they buy it. So affiliate marketing is great because the only skill that you have to have 
is marketing itself, right? Just getting traffic to the product. You don't have to be good at making landing pages or building the product or doing sales or hiring a team or doing customer service or any of that stuff. All of that is taken care of. So I definitely do like affiliate marketing. I think it's still a great opportunity. And this is something you can do part-time just as a little side hustle, or you can make a full-time income from it. So I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score as well. And by the way, affiliate marketing is a type of digital marketing. And I've interviewed many people on this channel that have been able to get jobs in digital marketing marketing and they didn't have to have a degree or previous experience. And it's honestly one of the best skills that you could possibly learn in the modern age. And my friend Seth has probably helped more people than anyone else in the entire world become digital marketers. And he does have a free masterclass, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below that you should check out. Next, let's talk about peer to peer lending. Now, this is a very interesting one that I've been looking into more and more in the last few years. And it's basically where instead of someone going to a bank to get a loan, they go to a website site where a bunch of different people give them the loan. So you and a bunch of other people are kind of like crowdfunding the loan, right? So instead of Wall Street making all the money off of the financial system, normal everyday people get to make some of that money as well. And it really does sound amazing in theory, but in actual application, it can be a bit hit or miss. But there are some crowdfunding sites such as Prosper, Lending Club, or Funding Circle that you can look into. And many investors see returns ranging from three to 7%. So overall, I think this is a cool one to look into. It might be something that's really good if if you want to diversify your portfolio, but I definitely wouldn't go all in when it comes to investing just with peer-to-peer -peer lending. I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Another really interesting one, and I'm actually even a little higher on this one, is real estate crowdfunding. Everyone knows that investing in real estate is one of the best ways for you to invest your money, but not everybody has $100,000 <laughs> to buy a house. So using real estate crowdfunding with websites like Fundrise or Realty Mogul, you can start investing with as little as $500. And the best thing is you don't have to be a real estate expert. You you don't have to deal with all the taxes, laws, and compliance stuff. You don't have to deal with tenants or anything like that. Now, this is relatively new, so there's not a lot of data on this, but there's many people that have reported getting over 7%, even over 10% returns, which would be better than the S&P 500. And again, it could be a good way for you to diversify your income if you're already investing in something like index funds. So overall, I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is technically a job, but it's so easy to get into that I just want to call it a side hustle because you can get part-time work and that is assisting medical professionals. So there's so much demand for some of these lower level medical professional jobs that hospitals and clinics will literally train you and start you off working part-time, even if you have no experience, no college degree or anything. And as a medical assistant, you'll typically make somewhere between 10 and $30 an hour later on down the line. This is also one of the fastest growing jobs in the entire United States of America. And I've mentioned this many other times on the channel and I have videos dedicated to talking about a bunch of these different medical careers. So I'm not gonna name all of them, but there are a lot of random little niche medical careers you can get into relatively easily. And so for that reason, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're liking some of these, or if you want me to cover other side hustles, if there's anything you think that should have been on this list, go ahead and comment down below and maybe it'll make it into the next video. Next, let's talk about investing in royalties. So this involves purchasing the rights in a creative work or an intellectual property. So something like a music book or a patent and then you earn a share of the ongoing royalties. So for instance, the Beatles song Yesterday actually has a record for being the most covered song in history, and it's generated a substantial amount of royalties for the rights holders. And Charlie Munger pockets $70,000 a year from a $1,000 investment he made in 1962. And he has likely raked in well over a million dollars from this royalty investment. And the easiest way to invest in royalties is purchasing shares in what's known as a royalty trust. There's also royalty related ETFs. And if you're not familiar with ETS, basically they're very similar to index funds. They're very easy to just kind of buy one. And then you have a very small percentage of a bunch of different royalties. So again, this is another one that might be good if you want to diversify your income. And Reese Witherspoon might actually become a billionaire because she started a company that's basically a book club where she gets royalty rights in those books if they make them into movies. So this was actually like a 5D chess genius move on her part. And so if you're someone who has a really good eye for talent, like for instance, you just have a really good eye for bands that you think are gonna make it big or books that you think are gonna be made into movies or something along those lines, this could be a really good type of investment for you to get into. But overall, I think for the average person, this one is gonna be below average. I'm gonna give it 
a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be a taste tester. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're basically going to be taste testing food and then giving feedback to the manufacturer or the chef on the food. And there are companies that will actually hire taste testers and pay them $100,000 a year. Now, typically this is more of a part-time thing and it's probably going to be offered more to people who live in bigger cities, but it's still something you can make some pretty good money from. And there are companies such as Schwann Food Company that will actually pay people to taste test their food. And Schwann's actually has pretty good food. So yeah, this is probably not one you're gonna make a full-time income from. It's more of a little side hustle. You can make a little bit extra money here and there. So for that reason, I'll give it a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be personal tailoring services. And this would specifically be a traveling tailor. So you would actually be going to someone's house, taking their measurements, possibly also taking their clothes, then tailoring the clothes, and then delivering it back to the house. And this is another one of those services that's been around forever, but you can make it more convenient for people and they will pay you a premium. Another way you can make really good money from this is by specializing and tailoring for certain types of people. So for instance, there is a tailor that specializes in tailoring for NFL stars. He's made suits for over 200 different NFL players and he makes really good money. But on average, tailors make about $33,000 a year. So this is one where you have to get a little bit creative with it. Again, I would recommend either specializing or doing a delivery service and then making sure that you charge a premium price. But overall, I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be rental income. And I know I said this is a list of untapped side hustles, but the truth is real estate rental income is still untapped and there's still a massive amount of opportunity here. So obviously there's Airbnb, you can rent out the spare room that you have in your house, or you can invest in properties and rent them out to tenants, or you can invest in commercial properties and rent them out to businesses. There's many, many different ways to make money from real estate. It's probably the number one side hustle in the entire world. And there is a reason for that. Mm. Definitely something that you want to do your research on. You know, don't jump into real estate without doing a ton of research first because you're almost guaranteed to lose money, but you can make really good money. Typically the returns can be even over 10 or 15%. It's relatively passive. Plus you get ridiculously good tax benefits and you get equity in the house or the real estate itself. So I'll give real estate a nine out of 10 opportunity score overall. Next is going to be print on demand. And this is one that I made a few videos about. And I really think the future of print on demand is going to be incredible. So print on demand, if you didn't know, it's basically where you select a t-shirt on a website that has a certain design and then you order that t-shirt. But what you don't know is the t-shirt hasn't actually been made yet. Some graphic designer out there designed that design and then put it on a t-shirt using Photoshop and you decided to buy it. And that's when the company makes it themselves. So this is a great way for independent artists to make money because they don't have to worry about the manufacturing. They don't have to worry about the shipping or the logistics. All they have to do is design cool stuff that people want. Now I've talked about this in other videos, but I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity when it comes to 3D print on demand. And that's basically where you use 3D printers to print really cool stuff. So an example of this would be printing awesome Halloween costumes. So someone might go to a website, design a super sick Halloween costume, click a few buttons, and a week later, they have an awesome Halloween costume show up at their door that's completely custom. I think that is going to be the future of print on demand. I think it's going to be even more customizable than it is right now. And I think there's a ton of opportunity for artists as well as individuals to make a ton of money with this. So I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next, let's talk about appointment setting. This is one that's technically a job, but it can also be a side hustle and you can also turn it into a business. And basically what appointment setting is, is you're setting up appointments online for the closer. And the closer, AKA the salesperson is someone who's selling a high ticket product. So this is a product that's going to be at least $3,000. And in many cases, it might be 10, 20, even $100,000. And what you're doing as the appointment setter is you're typically talking to people in DMs, maybe talking to people over email, qualifying them and making sure that they're the right type of person to actually buy the product. And then you send them to the closer. Now, not to get too technical, but that's what's known as inbound appointment setting. There's also outbound appointment setting where you're either cold emailing or cold calling people. People, but either way, you're going to be sending them to the closer and you can make really good money as an appointment setter. Now there's many different types of appointment setting. I mean, you could work for real estate agencies. You could work for software companies. You could work for online coaches, consultants, and agency owners, many, many different types of appointment setting. But this is something that's absolutely essential to the sales process, especially for higher ticket products. And it's one of those positions where you eat what you kill. So when you get a sale, you get a certain percentage of that. And of course that can really rack up. I mean, you can make five, eight, even 10,000 plus dollars per month. So yeah, appointment setting is phenomenal. I really like this one. I've seen a ton of people have success with it. I will give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I made another video
video on 10 side hustles you can do to earn money and you can check that out by clicking right here.